There was a man who failed in business at the age of 21, was defeated in a legislative race at the age of 22, failed again in business at 24, overcame the death of his fiance at 26, had a nervous breakdown at 27, lost a congressional race at 34, lost a senatorial race at age 45, failed to become vice president at age 47, lost another senatorial race at 49, and was elected the president of the United States at the age of 52. This man was Abraham Lincoln. He refused to let his failures define him and fought against significant odds to achieve greatness. There's no doubt about it. Failure can be brutal. But once you're over the initial shock and dust yourself off, there's another adjective that can fit the experience. That is enlightening. By learning to cope with failure, you can increase your willingness to take risks and push beyond the boundaries of your comfort zone. This in turn can create powerful opportunities for learning and professional success. However, learning to cope with failure does take practice and development. In this video, we discuss five ways in which you can learn to cope with failures in your workplace and life. Before we get started with the tips, I'm super excited to share with you all the launch of our website, the Career Show website. Check out the link mentioned right here and also in the description below. Some exciting things are coming up there, so do check it out. Now, let's hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell and get started with this video to learn how to deal with failure. First, figure out why you lost. Hundreds of executives who have been fired, laid off or passed over for promotion often start off by being in shock and being in denial about their failure. Then they move on to being angry at the company or the boss, then bargain over their faith and simply lick their wounds and ask themselves whether they can ever regain the respect of their team. Many of them never make it to the acceptance stage. Hence, it is important that you first identify why the failure occurred and whether it was beyond your control. Actively explore how you contributed to what went wrong. Evaluate whether you sized up the situation correctly and reacted appropriately. You also want to gather feedback from a wide variety of people, making sure you gather honest feedback, not consolation. After you've gathered all the facts, ask yourself what you can learn from this experience and what changes you could make to achieve a different result next time. Second, separate the failure from your own identity. I'm not a good employee. I'm not cut out for this industry. I should have known better. I will never be able to do this. Does this sound familiar? The biggest mistake people make is that they make the failure about themselves. Remember that a setback or a failure isn't a reflection of who you are as an individual. Don't make the failure something specific to you. Just because you haven't found a successful way of doing that particular task doesn't mean you're a failure. These are completely separate thoughts, yet many of us blur the lines between them. By understanding that the failure is just a part of the process and not a part of your identity, you can maintain the confidence to continue pursuing your goal. Third, find a new perspective to look at the failure. Start by understanding that the failure is part of the learning process. Accepting your failure doesn't mean being proud of it, cursing the universe for your bad luck, or admitting to yourself that you suck and you should give up. True acceptance is understanding that you hit a roadblock and that now you need to figure a way out around it by shaking off the negative feedback, absorbing the constructive criticism and plowing ahead in an innovative, exciting way. The sheer act of picking yourself up Getting over your fear of failure and trying again is a win in itself. Rather than continuing to obsess over your stumbles, make sure you take time to acknowledge the progress you have made. Shift your perspective away from negative thoughts and focus on positive associations. Tell yourself that your failure brings you one step closer to reaching your goal. Most successful people will readily tell you that failure was a critical part of their path to success and you should develop a similar kind of perspective. Fourth, learn from those who survived. Almost every successful professional has overcome a misstep of some sort, from Steve Jobs to Jennifer Lopez. Sony began by manufacturing electric rice cookers that burned the rice. 
Evan Williams established Twitter after his podcast directory audio was rendered obsolete by the launch of iTunes. The first two car companies founded by Henry Ford failed, leaving him moneyless. But for most of them, what once seemed like massive career-ruining failures have now almost been forgotten, surpassed by great success. So when you experience your own career failure, it's helpful to speak with someone who can share some wisdom on how he or she faced a setback and emerged stronger on the other side. Feedback from a passionate, determined friend not only helps you to refocus on your ultimate goal, but it can also help you effectively deal with your feelings of defeat and remind you that you are not the only one who's ever felt this way. You can see how others have embraced their negative experiences and turned them into positive ones. And you should use their methods to do the same. And last, don't give up. There is a famous saying when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Which means that when the situation becomes difficult, the stronger people will work harder to meet the challenge. Let me give you a quick example here. The famous Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team, a heartbreaking experience for any teenager. But then he became one of the greatest basketball players in the history of the game. There is a famous quote from the legend. He says, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I've been entrusted to take the winning shot and I've missed. I've failed over and over again in my life, but I never gave up and that's why I succeed. There are times when you may need to walk away from a project, but it doesn't mean you need to give up completely. Think of your life as a boat. If you notice the boat sinking, you sometimes have to dump unnecessary weight in order to stay afloat. Apply this concept to your career. It's sometimes necessary to let some things go to catch the rest up. Even if you do have to lose a battle, this is your short-term goal. Focus on how the lessons learned affect the overall war. This is your long-term goals. Whatever you do, don't give up. And those are the 5 tips to deal with failure. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and drop your comments. And let me know what you would like to see next. Until next time, goodbye.